Gonna ring the singing bow first. Okay. Light the incense. Get real incensey here. Lay out the crystals. Gonna make a lot of space here. And I hope this is all included in the film. See who we have. I'm um, the first ones for Thomas, and Thomas wanted a botanical inspiration reading. So he's the first, I believe, to get one from me. This deck. All right, I'll leave the, let me show you the box. Oops. Botanical inspirations. Get it closer there, okay. Now, as I promised, I was gonna give a three card reading on these. All right, Thomas gets a pink rose, the primrose, and the snapdragon. So let me show you each of these. There's the snapdragon. And on it, it says, graciousness and benevolence. No act of kindness, no matter how small, is ever wasted. The next one is the primrose. They've got some great prints on these cards. It means youthful love. If I had a single flower for every time I think of you, I could walk forever in my garden. And the pink rose. It means grace and sweetness. The pursuit of perfection, then, is the pursuit of sweetness and light. So let me get deeper into the meaning of these. And I need to uh, pull up another screen here. So you got, uh, let me see. Let's go with the pink rose first. And let me find it. Okay, the pink rose. There are 40,000-year-old fossil records indicating that the very first wild roses were pink ones. The first cultivated roses were also of pink color, 
It is known that pink roses were grown in a Chinese imperial gardens 5,000 years ago. Some of the earliest known artworks depict pink roses. During the Victorian age, dainty pink roses were also very popular. So popular, they inspired the decorative wallpaper, stationery, jewelry, and many other fashionable items. When pink roses were given or displayed, they conveyed gentle sentiments, such as grace, admiration, kindness, and sweet thoughts. Your message is, greet life with grace, even when situations are challenging. Let pink roses be a gentle reminder that in order to have sweet dreams at night, you need to get in the habit of thinking sweet thoughts each day. All right, and the next one, the primrose. The primrose is the sacred flower of Freya, the Norse goddess of love. Its Latin name, primula, means first rose of spring. And also, it is the first flower of, uh, the flower of first love, excuse me. In the secret language of flowers, the yellow primrose conveys the message that between young lovers, I can't live without you. The purple primrose represents confidence. Through the, through the ages, brightly colored primroses have inspired poets, including Shakespeare, Burns, Milton, and Wood, Wordsworth. Your message for the primrose is, when we are young, we are willing to take chances for love. As we go through life, we should remember that youth, youthful confidence and exuberance in all we do. Inspirational message. When we are young, we are willing to give, to, willing to take chances for love. As we go through life, we should remember that useful confidence and exuberance in all we do. Always keep your heart open. Love is all around. And finally, the snapdragon, which is, where is it at? Here we go. The snapdragon. Snapdragons were first discovered growing wild in Italy and Spain. In Victorian England, the snapdragon communicated grace and benevolence. If a gentleman gave a lady a bouquet containing snapdragons, it was a compliment to her character and her kindness. The dragon-like blossoms were also believed to have mystical powers that warded off evil and misfortune. Snapdragons were given as housewarming gifts, as well as tokens of gratitude for gracious and kind hospitality. And the message, it is easy to be kind and gracious with the people we love and care most about, but true grace and benevolence extend to those we do not know, and sometimes even to those we may not like much. All right. So there you go, Thomas. Okay, let's see. The next person on the list is Bridget. This reading is for Bridget. If I can get myself organized here. Okay, definitely these two, and I have a hunch about this one. It might play into it somehow. We'll see. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay, I see an ending and a beginning coming up. Going to be a change. Um, 
a major milestone of some sort for you. So I, I don't know. Don't say if it's good or bad. Um, maybe uh, the rest of the reading will give a little bit more information on there. Okay. Um, yes, there's going to be a radical change. This is um, a definite. I see a, a good uh, partnership between you and another person. Um, could be romantic. Uh, could be um, a friend, a family member. Um, good fortune, possibly, is coming your way. And uh, this rune, that's a positive rune. So this change, I would say, is going to be positive for you. Um, you're going to have a victory, uh, possibly a, a clear vision coming up, achievement, uh, rest. I think we're all getting a lot of rest with this COVID. Um, yeah, this is a pretty positive rune, so... I would say your reading's pretty positive here. And finally, um, uh, progress, future changes, uh, movement, trust. So, uh, Bridget, this is all looking pretty good for you. All right. There's going to be a change coming, but it's going to be for the better. So don't worry. All right. Now we have Lisa Gregg. This reading's for you, Lisa. Oh, only one's coming up. Let's see if I can get something else for you. Okay. Lisa, it's only giving me three for you this time. So, I see ambition, light, a breakthrough of some sort, uh, possible growth. Um, you're going to have a possible breakthrough of some sort, a conscious breakthrough. Maybe something that's been puzzling you will finally make sense. You'll see what's going on. Um, some sort of relationship between you and another person. There's some issue here. Um, possibly a gift coming your way. Um, time of fortune. Um, good time for love. Uh, and it doesn't have to be with you and a, a romantic partner. It could be you and a relative, a friend, um, some sort of really good relationship going on right now. And finally, oh, something's going to really draw your patience pretty bad. Um, look for omens. Uh, I see uh, stress. Uh, possible obstacles, a need, a need for something. Something's not, something's missing from your life. Um, maybe this breakthrough might uh, end that problem. I'm not sure. I'm not sure where this person comes in to the situation. If they're even involved in this, these two might just be connected. Okay. But uh, that's about all I can give you, Lisa. Sorry, it wouldn't give me more. All right. Hope that makes some sense to you. Okay. 
Lady Nighthawk is up next. This reading's for her. Wow, you got a lot in this one. Well, so far. Let's see how these go. No, nothing there. So, Lady Nighthawk. For you. Okay. This talks about um, concentrating on yourself. Okay. Um, might be a good time to do some thinking about something important. Um, be a uh, time to be uh, creative. Um, give of yourself. Now's a great time for that. <clears throat> Boy, excuse me. Um, over here. There's going to be limits coming up, um, upheavals possibly, risks, delays. Um, hmm. But yet there's potential freedom. There's an ending coming up here. Maybe this delay is going to come to an eventual end. Um. I see you being uh, reckless, um, possibly uh, feeling frustrated or hassled. And um, now there's um, another delay. Um, upset in plans. Uh, you might be feeling lost. Possibly unexpected travel, but I... Don't think so in this case. So, yeah, it looks like you're going to be experiencing some delays. As I've been saying to everyone, though, um, possibly a COVID thing. We're all experiencing that right now. All right. Lady Nighthawk. Now we have Tommy. And Tommy wants a tarot reading. So I'm shuffling him up good. I shuffle them. Some of these I just keep getting over and over again. But different. In different positions and stuff. Okay, Tommy. Someone has uh, broken your heart here. But you're going to get over it. It's going to be one of those things that is easy to put behind you and go on with your life. Although, you're not going to quite do that because you're going to be looking over your shoulder. Or that could be looking back with regrets at something maybe lost in this. Um, maybe the loss of this person that betrayed you or did this to you. You're getting over it, but at the same time, you're harboring some uh, regrets here. You don't walk away easily. I see here uh, recently, or maybe soon to come, it's hard to tell, uh, money coming your way, or perhaps a gift, something of value. 
someone's recently given it to you or soon soon to become soon to come I should say um, I also see a victory of some sort here uh, recently. Um, not a ma major victory, uh, just a small uh, squabble or so. I put it kind of lightly because, uh, you know, you're walking away happy and it's not like against a bunch of people or anything. It's just some disagreement with someone. Coming up, there's bad news uh, from the home, the family. It's a domestic type issue. Um, bad news. Um, someone's going to give you or something negative about the family or the household is coming. And it looks like you, uh, your sense of judgment is going to be off. Okay, uh, you might be biased or one-sided on an issue. Maybe it hits you personally in a way that others can't understand. Um, so I see you walking away with regrets. Um, you've left something behind and it's kind of reflecting this card too practically. You left it behind and you've want to go on with your life there's still something drawing you back that uh, you can't quite shake it's a time of magic and you're going to be able to be in control over the situation coming it's going to be almost a uh, miraculous type thing going on you'll be in control over the whole thing whether this takes place or not, all, all manners of the issue. Um, coming up, there's some bad news about finances, money issues, or possibly uh, a gift uh, that might go bad or might be a negative type gift that you don't really like. And it looks like uh, that time's going to come to an end. Um, it's going to turn sour at the end. It, you're in control, or you will be here in the near future. Uh, maybe this onion, this excuse me, onion. Maybe this money issue is going to uh, possibly throw you off enough so that. Uh, your control is going to be lost. It's going to still be a magical period, but uh, maybe something is going to turn sour, like I said, you know, at the end. And uh, even your your sense sense of uh, um, your premonition, your foresight is going to be off. Everything is going to, just going to be a little bit wacky. All right, Tommy. Sherry Knotts wants tarot. So we gonna give her tarot. Okay, Sherry. Now there's something about um, the relationship between you and someone else. It's going well. It's going real well. Because um, you got it twice here. Both the relationship cards all in one. 
So possibly uh, that's been an issue, but uh, it seems like it's going good. Another thing I see here is um, there seems to be a, a natural um, a contentment at the household. There has been, and there will be in the future. I see a, a bit of a fight or a disagreement with somebody. Um, didn't turn out good in your favor. Excuse me. I'm not sure what, but uh, coming up I see uh, generosity of some sort. It could be uh, um, with something of value. It doesn't have to be generosity with money. Okay. Um, and coming up, um, justice isn't going in your direction, it doesn't seem. Um, or your sense of justice, fairness, is going to be a little skeered. Um, okay, it looks like you've been uh, daydreaming about something, making plans, not acting on them. Well, that's going to come to an end. Okay, um, you, you've thought it out and now you're going to put it into action. This one is uh, possibly a bad news case that's going to um, upset you. Some news is coming. Um, doesn't say what, but uh, something's uh, happening. Boy, you can get a lot of uh, duplicate cards in this reading. Um, I'll get to that in a second. Um, something you've been working on, you're going to finally finish, you're, you're going to achieve. Um, something you've been trying to get, uh, something you've been wanting, it's going to work out in your favor. And once again, like this card, this card reflects the same thing. It's kind of like uh, you've been dreaming, um, thinking about what you want to do and haven't put it into effect yet, well, that's going to happen in the future. You're going to make some sort of uh, right decision. Perhaps something along the way is not going to make you happy, but uh, something you've been really wanting and working for is going to pay off. So um, don't hold back. Put your plan into motion. Now's a good time for it. All right, Sherry. There we go. What? All right, I'm getting ready to do the, the random name picker for the full reading. Um, and if you're not on this list, it means I've given a few of you a, a reading here uh, in Recently, I've not, not given it to others, so I haven't added you all back to the list. Um, a little bit while down the road, um, you know, I'll add you all back to the list as more more people get a chance to have theirs done. But anyway, uh, here's the uh, here we go. Here's the random name picker and let's get the wheel up and let's give it a spin see who gets it oh and it landed on nancy vu nancy vu is the new winner congratulations and I'll get on your reading here in just a little bit. Okay. For Amanda, there's... Oh, sorry about the glare. Whispers of Love. Let me draw your three cards. 
And you got first one is you are limitless. You can do anything you choose. That's the first card. Next card, spiritual connection. It says a relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. And last one is simple acts of kindness. And it says kindness energizes you and brings happiness to those around you. So let me look these up here and uh, give you a reading. When you are too close to a situation, you only have one perspective. There are so many possible outcomes for this situation. Take a broader look. Release the need to control what is happening and allow your inner not knowing to help you. Things always work out as they should. When your soul is experiencing its purest form, it has limitless knowledge, infinite wisdom, and boundless energy. You may have developed some negative self-talk that is limiting what you can accomplish. Connect to the beautiful light that dwells within your being and represents your soul. Remember that your abilities are fueled by your imagination. Dream big. A unicorn emerges from a woman's being. The unicorn er represents healing powers, possibilities, and knowledge of the soul. Two swans set in the heart area to signify the grace that is connected to you always. Trust in your ability to know you can achieve anything you set your mind to. And that describes this card. Oh, there's the swans. They're hard to see. They're over here, the swans. And of course, you can see the unicorn in it. Okay, next one is spiritual connection. Spiritual connection. Everything happens for a reason. Some people come into your life to help you learn a lesson, and they will make, will make a real impact on your life. Whether it be with a lover, a primary partner, or in a relationship for growth, spiritual connection is important for you now. This card very gently reminds you to allow the universe to support you. You might be trying to control aspects of your life that are not within your power. When a connection has a spiritual basis, nurture it with love and surrender. Put a situation into the hands of the divine and ask that the outcome be for the highest good of all involved. A situation may be asking you to stretch yourself. Know that you are going to grow and expand during this phase, but do not try to lose yourself. Communicate your needs at once and listen to what is being shared. Two people look intently into each other's eyes, revealing a deep trust that exists between them. Their gaze and exemplifies their strong connection. A cord that seems to originate from their crown chakras connects the two individuals and illuminates their strength, strengthening unity bond. Take a moment to consider the unity that exists when you at odds are at odds with one another. Consider how much can be revealed through love and understanding. And... Let me show you that one again more closely. Maybe you can see what they were talking about in there. A cord connecting the two. I can see it. All right. And the final card is simple acts of kindness. Simple acts of kindness. One of the amazing aspects of love is that it supports the giver and the receiver. 
When you show care to others, you create further opportunities for kindness. When others are kind to us, it motivates us to pass what kind, that kindness on. Demonstrate kindness and bring more love into the world. Kindness can make the world a better place. Kindness has the satisfying ability to help you feel happier and more energized when you give it to someone. There are many simple ways to offer kindness, such as opening a door, holding the elevator, smiling at someone, or giving a compliment. Kindness is contagious and can have a lasting impact. And on the card, a young boy wearing feathers are feeds a squirrel. A variety of animals gather around him. The squirrel suggests it's time to create a space for giving. As you give, so you, you will receive. The feathers on the boy's head represents your ability to become inspired. Act in kindness and see if you are motivated to do more. If you are attracted to another animal in a card, it may have a message for you. Set with its image and see what comes forth. All right, and I know it's hard to see, but uh, there's the boy, there's the animals around him. Simple acts of kindness. All right, there you go, Amanda. Now we have Jerry, who wanted a card. Or a reading, excuse me. A bunch of cards. I'm shuffling these cards, folks, but a lot of these just keep wanting to come up. I can't help it. I'm sorry. Um, it looks like things are going somewhere. A trip may be coming up. Um, a progression of some sort. Movement. Um, going places. Maybe your life is advancing. Um, However, this advancement, this trip or whatever it may be, comes with regrets if you take it. If you do this, you'll be left really uh, upset and uh, a whole lot of great regret. Okay, uh, definitely doesn't look like things have been going well. There's been problems in the family here recently or with the house. Um, the household, anything like that, there's been problems, maybe bad news. These cards both reflect that, um, possibly involving a man, um, would be like uh, probably light haired, light brown or blonde or possibly uh, gray even. Might not be a man, but uh, that's, that's a possibility in there. And it's going to last. It's not going anywhere so even if you do go anywhere doesn't seem to be changing things there's still unrest in the household some unhappiness and coming up something's going to really upset you someone's going to break your heart betray you maybe in a way not really stab you in the back but uh, break you break your heart and it will leave you resentful, um, regretful is more the word I should say, regretful, um, looking back on something or regret not being able to bring something with you, something you've done maybe has been off, um, not like how you'd like it to turn out, and there will be regrets. Sense of judgment is going to be good, which is good because there's going to be something happen unexpected um, almost miraculous if you want to call it that and you'll be in control you'll be able to 
just uh, manipulate through it with no problems. And it looks like you'll be able to finally um, put aside the, that which is giving you this regret. You'll finally come to terms with it and be able to walk away with a clear conscience. Um, I see some solitariness. So these seem to be personal issues, maybe involving just yourself and no one else, or maybe you're the only one that feels this way. I see some sort of uh, you and you alone type thing. Maybe you're feeling kind of uh, misunderstood right now. Um, lonely. And it could be in, in, uh, in a way that uh, like you can be in a crowd but still feel alone and lonely. Like no one gets you, no one understands you. All right there, Tommy. Hope that makes some sense for you. This reading is for rain. Okay, Rain, let's see what you got here. I didn't flip. Okay, these two are the keepers, and <clears throat> they're saying uh, there's progress coming up, uh, a good future, um, changes, um, movement of some sort, uh, your life's going to be moving on, progressing in a good way. Um, <clears throat> now remember everything in its time so don't rush things it's going to take uh, time for it to come into being I see uh, huh, escaping something uh, temptations are coming your way um, avoid uh uh, being uh, greedy in any way, not that you would be, but um, and try to avoid doing anything that goes against your conscience. All right, now this next one is uh, oh, also warning you about being stubborn or foolhardy. Uh, listen to advice. I see a good relationship between you and someone else, could be a family member, um, a love interest, um, a friend, maybe even a business partner of sorts, someone you have business with, a one-on-one -on -one issue. Very good. Um, now, in the end, though, I see you being kind of reckless about something. Um, frustration. Um, you're going to feel hassled. I don't know if it's with this person or not. Might be. But this is looking good. This position is good. So, I don't know. I'm not sure where this comes from. But something is, um, is really going to frustrate you. 
And once again, I don't know if it's this COVID thing that's going to be going on too long and getting frustrated. But, uh, okay, Rain. Texas 3 wanted a tarot reading. Let's see what uh, the cards say for him. Okay, for Texas, it's not looking good. Um, some problems of a domestic issue, uh, nature, um, something about the home, the family, some negativity coming in here, possibly involving a woman. Um, and if I had to take a gander, she would have light hair, possibly. Not necessarily, but that's that's possible she's gonna really uh, betray you stab you in the back literally well not literally but uh, figuratively she's gonna stab you in the back um, your sense of judgment's been off but uh, you finally got it right something went your way well here in the near past and you've gotten some good news of a domestic issue or someone gave you something um, for the home, the family. Some good news uh, has uh, recently come your way. That's going to counteract with what's going on, I guess. Everything's going to get flipped. And you, uh, it's going to leave you, probably this, is going to leave you kind of feeling... Um, restrained, um, touchy, uh, sensitive to a, a certain matter, um, probably involving a family or home, um, and you won't know where to turn at first, but that will soon come to an end. Although, with whatever happens, it doesn't seem like you'll be uh, happy about it. Uh, now, this card here, something, uh, looks like something negative is about to happen in the future. Be careful, watch out for it. Um, maybe that's why you're not celebrating over here because of this and it's going to seem to affect you down the line um, now uh, you're a very uh, you're going to be very cautious uh, your emotions are going to be off and um, by the way I haven't gotten any money cards there's no money cards in this reading um, You're going to be, but you're going to be able to leave something behind. Maybe this problem, this event, you're going to be able to put it aside you. Won't be easy. And you'll regret um, something you've left behind in the past. You had to put, turn your back to. You'll, you'll regret it. Now, once again here, it looks like the home, something about the home, there's some unhappiness uh, in the domestic life, uh, family, home, actual house, um, something of a domestic issue. There's a lot of that going on in here. Um, and finally, it looks like you'll be left... Um, 
you'll be left dreaming on an issue that you want to go ahead with. And uh, you're going to be able to jump right into it. I have a feeling that's what uh, this is about. You'll still be upset about leaving something behind. But if you can tolerate this situation, whatever it is, you'll be able to put that behind you and you'll, you'll know what to do, where to go, how to go about it, and you'll be able to um, proceed safely. All right there, Texas. This reading is from Mama Cat. And this one comes up first. Okay. Oh, there's Let's see what other ones we can pull up for you, Mama Cat. Okay, Mama Cat, we got two here. So, um, I see potential in your future, um, possible freedom, um, looks like something might be coming to a conclusion. An ending. Um, this ending, though, comes with consequences of sorts. Uh, this one, too, talks about similar. Um, I see termination, something ending again. Giving up of the old. There's going to be a change coming about. Um... Now, for you personally, though, I see a blocked energy, listlessness. Um, maybe uh, someone around you has questionable motives regarding something. And, uh, oh, and there's family problems and needs, possibly uh, anxiety and worry on your behalf. Um Probably it's all tied in together with this coming to an end. But it's a natural thing that comes with any, it's a consequence of anything. Um, so hang in there, Mama Cat. Prayers for you and your family, if that be the, the situation. Nancy Vu wanted a tarot reading. And Nancy, since you're the winner, I'll, uh, I'll do your other readings as, as we go along here. And just edit them together. All right, Nancy. Let's see where this is going to take you. Oh. Okay, Nancy, it looks like someone has betrayed you recently, or will soon betray you, um, stab you in the back, so to speak, but you'll get over it, 
it'll be something, and it might be referring to this, something bad's happened here in the past. But you're able to uh, get over it and go on with your life. Um, it looks like you're enjoying life right now, and I see down here it reflects in this card as well. And uh, like, life's going well, um, relatively no problems, you're content. Let's put it that way. You're you're content, if not actually outright happy. Um, but there's regrets um, about something you left behind. Um, this card is kind of like um, no crying over spilt milk type thing. No regrets. Go on and uh, leave stuff in the past where it belongs. Now you've been uh, planning on something, or will be planning on something in the future here. Um, you won't act on it. You want to think this out clearly before you um, make your move. But the move you make is going to be probably pretty good because you have given it some thought. Now coming up is a good time for your intuition. Follow your intuition. Hopefully it'll save you from this card, which is heartbreak. It looks like someone's going to break your heart in the future here. I uh, don't know how. It might be this person that betrayed you. This might be a reference to that. Um, but you're, here you're able to move past it without any regrets. And finally, um, boy, coming up, it looks like there might be some uh, bad news about monetary issues or maybe a, someone gives you a gift you really don't want uh, or takes something of value from you. Um, it, it's all involving money or something of value. Um, now I see some negativity here. All right. Sorry about Nancy, that Nancy. My battery went dead in the middle of filming. Um, but I think I got this all. Um, some negative message um, or negative thing involving money or material things of value. Something along those lines. All right, Nancy, I uh, hope that makes some sense. Just be careful that person wanting to betray you. Nancy Vu, I'm giving you a Soul's Journey card. I hope you can see that on there. The Soul's Journey. These are good oracle cards. I like what they have to say, and I'm hoping you will too. You didn't know you were going to win, and... So I just took a guess at the best uh, cards I thought would be right for you, Nancy, and uh, this is what I came up with. So let me lay out three for you. Okay. You have patience. It says, I accept that everything happens in divine order. Next one is self-esteem. And it says, I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. And finally, relationships. I'm moving this around because I can't look through the back of the lens right now to see if it's on the camera even. 
It says, I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. Now let me read more on these. Patience. Earth has become a place of instant gratification. You must focus on the maxim. It's not about the destination, it's about the journey. This card has come to you because you need to learn the joy of anticipation. Anticipation. <laughs> the process of doing is so rich in lessons, but when you concentrate on only the goal, those experiences are disregarded. Life is an unfolding and the more life is an unfolding and the more patience you practice, the more will let you, the universe energy celebrate itself through you and bring the experiences and situations your soul requires. You need to learn that there is a rhythm to everything in the universe and the more you are living with patience, the more aware you are of the lessons your soul is studying. You are on a path. There are signposts. If you are speeding down the path, you will miss the little miracles and treasures that have been placed there. Next one is self-esteem. And it says, It is easy to perceive others as being better than you. This is a trap of the ego. There is no one greater or lesser than you. There are only those who have gained, or, excuse me, who have learned how to reveal their gifts to a greater or lesser degree. Everyone is born with the unique abilities of the soul, and just like snowflakes, no two are ever alike. You have a unique perspective to share with the world, and have come back to this time to put your stamp on it. Perhaps you may not even be aware or even in tune with your incredible gifts and gift itself. Why not try to make a list of ten aspects of yourself or abilities you possess that you love and hold in high regard? It's not always easy to write about yourself, but sometimes you need to be reminded just how special you are. Remember that you did not come down to this classroom by accident. You have meaning and a reason for being. You are a treasure chest of incredible gifts and insights. Now is the time to celebrate you. That was a good one. And finally, relationships. In this three-dimensional world in which we live, there is a sense that we are separate from one another and also that we meet by chance. This is an illusion. The people in our lives are drawn to us and are here for a reason. It is through sharing experiences and having relationships with others that we begin to understand ourselves. When someone appears in your life, you must see what is not resolved or whole in that person and understand the lessons that he or she brings home to you. You may draw others to you like magnets in order to learn various aspects of yourself. The people you have close relationships on earth are usually members of your soul family. You have chosen to incarnate together to help each other learn lessons, even though it may not seem that way to you now. Once a lesson is learned, don't be surprised if that person fades away. People in your life are there for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. All right, Nancy. Nice positive messages there. Next, Nancy, is your dice reading. Okay, there's Taurus, Taurus, which is Earth over the Sun, and eight, that means it's over, it's a greater Earth over the Sun. Let me see what that one says in the book. And you have to take these figure, figuratively, these readings. Okay, picture the farmer, a hero hidden by normality, success by mundane means, a figure planting seeds in a field of turned brown soil. 
just being yourself means success basically I would say the meaning of this is the answer to the shining promise of the Sun is a large amount of solid dependable earth this may sound unusual like a mound of soil and rock smothering a bright light but that's not the case this time earth represents among many other things regular dependable work and it can be a secure and powerful route to success. The sun is often associated with positive outcomes, but also with a very personal idea of the individual reaching their full potential. The needs are being met. The needs that are being met are healthy and important, and this combination says the way to reach them is with more and more earth. The farmer is often overlooked figure is an often overlooked figure. They work away in a, they work in a way, excuse me, that requires them to know the earth in great detail and bring forth life from it. Do not be fooled by the mundane appearance of such a role. Many higher magical goals can be gained by throwing yourself strongly into slow and steady practice. It may not seem exciting or prestigious. But this is the stuff that quiet heroes are made of. This pairing tells us not to run after fame or fortune, but instead to concentrate on doing the work. It is a move away from other shining glory to a dependable, but maybe less exciting, roots. Other elements, such as, such as moon or fire, can bring in sacred, mysteri mysterious, or riskier answers than this, but Earth is centered in very physical, real-world sensations. It also has many links to money, from the metal and precious gems contained in the ground to the ability to grow crops, graze animals, and other routes to wealth. Taking time to do less exciting work will pay off just as well as shooting for the ultimate glory would, but it's, a more, de it's more dependable this way. Remember the sun's light and remember why you are working. The bigger danger in this combination is that you are indeed smothering what could be a necessary, a beautiful light under tons of earth. Watch for that. The earth is necessary. It's going to happen. But don't automatically let it be the entire picture. Keep the higher ideals in your mind for later. A sun under the earth is like having a heater under the soil. In winter, the memory of the sun will keep the fields alive and keep, gro keep cold feet moving. It also fights the frost and gives energy and motivation when we are tiring. So take comfort in earth's resilience and its ability to shelter us, neutralize danger and energy, and produce healthy life. But remember, the more exciting sun that you've seen before as well, and plan on eventually to bring it back. In the short term, do the work. If you want to progress, it's going to take honest effort, but it will pay off with all the fruits and harvest you could seek. All right there, Nancy. Okay, now for the runes. Okay, this one's standing up, so it's favorable. Sideways, sideways. Standing up. Oh, I forgot my pendulum. Hold on. I found my pendulum. So here we go. For Nancy Boo. think I'm getting anything like that one. This one's a maybe. I'll see if it plays into the rest of the reading. Okay. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay. Things don't seem to be progressing for you at the moment. Uh, kind of slow. Um, 
kind of energy loss, separation, well, of course, with this virus. Um, it's a time for focus, to concentrate on the things that are important in your life. Don't worry about progression right now. Just take it easy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Next up, um, we have uh, Yara, which means uh, you're seen to reap the rewards of something. Um, possible legalities are going to turn your way. Uh, time for peace, commitment, it's all going to be well. Um, maybe a breach of loyalty, I'm not sure, that's possible. Um, let me see. This one, there's going to be a sudden change or something involving timing of things. Um, things are going to change. Maybe not in a good way. That's unclear at the moment. Aha, victory. This is what I'm looking for. Clear vision, honor, achievement. Ah, it looks like they're going to change for the best. Uh, good time for rest. A very positive rune to have. Okay, and next. There's going to be a rebirth in your life. A change. Um, I see Persia perseverance um, possibly conflict but you're going to be successful so I think basically it's probably referring to this COVID that's what I'm taking but I don't know your situation personally coming up there's going to be some blocked energy though listlessness um, going a little stir crazy maybe um, and once again, um, good time to just, uh, there's going to be upsetting plans, maybe, uh, delays, um, you might feel lost, um, maybe possibly unexpected travel, but I wouldn't look, look for it. You might want to be getting out after this is all over, after being so confined and stuff but uh okay nancy hope that made some sense for you